Good evening, everybody! Jason here from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, streaming on Treaty 7 land. Home of the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Sutina Nation, and the Stony Nakoda Nation, along with the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Welcome back to Raid the Arcade, New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. It all go towards your local children's hospital, and then you get to play games for 24 hours. Game day this year is November 2nd, but fundraising goes all year round. x Life started over 15 years ago, and has since raised over $100 million for children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S., and over $11 million was raised in 2022 alone, all raised by gamers just like you. I'm playing games help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I've been part of x for 12 years now. It's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And you can donate the links below or my pinned posts on Twitter, Facebook, and Mastodon. In 2022, over $216,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through Extra Life. It was all done by gamers across Alberta and all over the world. You can also join in on the fun and help out because kids can't wait. And now by gaming back, you can game on. You are one of the first 1,000 Extra Life Platinum participants to raise $2,000 US in 2024. You will unlock your very own custom Extra Life controller for the console of your choice, courtesy of our friends at Controller Chaos. These controllers will go fast, so get your fun raising going now. So if you'd like to learn more about Extra Life, the custom controllers, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Okay, it's Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Time to party. Okay, well, thanks again for tuning in for tonight's installment of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. Tonight, I'm continuing my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. So let's just dive right back into the game. Okay, uh, yeah, so I didn't play Final Fantasy 16 Monday night, as I had just uh, gotten my copy of Apollo Justice, a Saturday Trilogy compilation on Switch, and that's what I played for Monday night, played for the first part of the first trial, and, and yeah, that was just... Uh, uh, that that was just uh, that that was just a good time all around. I love the Ace Attorney games, and I didn't stream a Friday night uh, because well I just didn't uh, feel well well I just wasn't feeling a Friday night. Let's just leave it at that. But anyway, let's just dive right back in with Final Fantasy 16. Okay, so we're back here at the Dommel Inn in the Dalmechian Republic. Let's see, we have to solve the Riddle of the Fangs. Oh, and looks like there's also a some subquests nearby. First of all, let's... First of all, let's talk to Lubor here. What is it now? You and I... What? Uh, I think I already read, read through all this before, so... 
Nice. Still. Best of luck. Okay, yeah, let's consult the active time lore and let's just see if there's anything new around here. Like here with Drake's Fang. Okay, Drake's Fang is one of Valisthea's five remaining mother crystals located in the Dalmechian Republic. Like its sisters who jut from the earth to tower above the landscape, Drake's Fang is completely enclosed in the vast hollow of an Aegis Mountain, its citrine fingers reaching inward toward the barrow's heart. Excavation of these crystals has, over centuries, showered the Dalmex with essential fortune and, as such, is seen as a symbol of the nation's prosperity. Okay, let's check the let's check the quest log here and let's check out the journal. Let's see what we've got to do. And we still got to make for Drake's fan and also carving out a niche. Yeah, we knew Oh yeah, that's right. We need to help Sava figure out how to make a carving knife that follows the spirit of Dalamil. Search the Valkyrie Desert for the Metal Trader. Okay. Let's go search for for the Metal Trader. Hey, how are you in there, boy? I feel good, boy. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, but there's another. Yeah, but there's also a. Yeah, but there's also a side quest around here as well. And with, and with my luck, these subquests will stack. So let's go pick up this other subquest while I'm here. Then. Is it true what I'm here? Then head on out. My carpets have brighter places. Take a sniff, good sir. Needed to a silken softness. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Won't ship, won't crack, no matter how rocky the baths are, um, uh, uh, closed for scrubbing. Please bear with us a little longer. Everything I've worked for, ruined. All those years of toil, every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you, go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. All right. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. In all my years tending the baths, I've never known anything like this to happen. Please, find out what's gone wrong. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, looks like... Okay, it looks like that quest will actually be on the way to the Riddle of the Sands and Drake's Fang. So let's actually head north. Oh, back up to... Back up to, to the Watcher here. Sure, I'll help you out, but I've got a more pressing concern right now. Weights and puts! Holes and Fresh bread. Fresh from the oven. Fresh yeah. from the grill. It would make a fire. Is it true what I'm hearing? I like how your Chocobo judge uh, just comes out of nowhere. Fly, Ambrosia! You might as well ride in style. Soldiers in town to deal with any imperial reprisal. 
Oops. Quest destination is nearby. Let's see. You deserve a rest. Where are those that? soldiers behind me? Might have missed them. Uh, let's let's take another look around here. See if that metal traders around here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, you look to like to be the right one. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? What I asked her, but. <laughs> You tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash? Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said the Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And, if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low-quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh... I hate to ask after all that you've done for me, but... Limestone? Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. I'm just Besides, that kind of guy. I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it! Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. So, do you crush it up, or just throw it in the furnace? Okay, let's see. Now, where do we go to get the... Oh, okay, I was right. Uh, these these quests uh, do stack a little bit. Okay, so that means... Okay, so that means we just... Uh, let's just uh, travel to the obelisk, uh, just to save a little bit of time. This is no good. I was hoping to get out of the heat for a little while. Is it true what I'm hearing? The finest fabric! Take a sniff, good sir. Needed to a silken softness. Like eating a cloud with a crust. Okay, let's head south, take care of those subquests, and then move the main storyline along. Yeah, I think this is the first time I've been through here now that the gate's open. We should get going soon. Do you have water? I've got a crystal. So long as we stay out of the Deadlands, we'll be all right. What do you want? Directions? Either take this road to the Fang, or piss off back the way you came. Alrighty then. Not much for customer service, are you? Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubo? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Talmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. 
But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Okay, this place does look rather des desolate, but I think I'll be able to get all the limestone here. Oh yeah, that's right, they say that this place is called... it's called the Terraces. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Come on, girl, the gate's open now, we can press on. Don't tell me you put down roots. Those bombs over there? Oh, yep, the bombs over there. Okay, I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to fight them at some point. Okay, but in the meantime, let's get the slime stone. I don't think anybody will miss it. As I said, the place is just the place is just maggoty with limestone. One rock looks a lot like another. But hopefully this is what Seven needs. Let's see, can I... Let's see, I'm wondering if I should drop off that right now. Oh, I can... Ah, uh, uh, heck, let, let, let's wipe... Let's wipe one, one quest off the map. The list, rather. Keep it simple. Okay, it's, well, it's 1015 here in Calgary, so you're watching me play Final Fantasy 16 as part of Raid the, the Arcade New Game while. Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games with your kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. I wasn't sure how much you'd need, but I hope this is enough. Okay, Spring Line, a brittle white stone that grows in the restorative of hot springs near Dalamil. When dried and built into a fine powder, it can be added to molten iron to purge the metal of impurities. You are one of the good ones, you know that. You and that merchant both, she's got quite a gift for teaching that one. Now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. do, I reckon. A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, if you will. It's a fine-looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubor agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubor. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh, but, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. 
How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that, hmm? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava, know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable, but only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. There goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. Okay, oh, I got a goblin coin. Econo Economists are wont to argue that currency-based commerce is a cornerstone of civilization. If true, this coin would suggest that goblins are far more civilized than humankind gave some credit for. Or perhaps that humankind is far less civilized than we presume. Thank you, Clive. I honestly don't think I could have done it without all your help. I hear you and the Master are working together now. Glad to have you on board. Okay, so let's see. Now let's do the now, now let's do the second one, the hot water one, where we investigate Donov Terraces. Okay? Is it true what I'm doing? My carpets have Take a stiff good sir. Needed to a silken softness. Like even a cloud with a cloud. Okay, quick question, chat. In Quite games so where there's no uh, collision detection uh, between you and NPCs or other players. Do you go out of your way to step out of the way? I just call it call and comment and see if you do. Well, come on. Trader, are you? Seeking your fortune down in the golden sands of Dalamil? From Mercantile Stop myself, as happens. You'd never guess. I was born just down the road in Dravosht. And like my old man and pa, I've been wandering the world hunting Gilbard's blessing ever since. Reckon I might have found it, too. You've heard about the famous healing waters they got round these parts, right? Well, I'm thinking if I can find a little pool of my own. Dress it up a bit, lay on drinks and fancies and whatnot. I'd have a license to mint gill. Soothing your aches and pings with a grape in your gob and a glass in your hand. There's nothing people wouldn't pay. I do. Trader, are you? Seeking your fortune down in the golden sands of Dalamil. Okay, you do you, buddy.
Okay, invisible wall. Okay, looks like, uh, yeah, looks like... Yeah, thanks for spotting those bombs, buddy. Oh, I'll bet those bombs are what's causing the, the hot springs to get... a little... hot. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just make our way towards there. Ooh, there's an item. Let's grab it. Oh, ten gil. See a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll look out, you'll have good luck. Oh, we'll take this in the way. Something awful's taken up residence in the springs. You'll turn back if you know what's good for you. Something awful? Sounds like something I should do. Take care of. Okay. But there's a bridge there. Didn't really want to jump up and down. the heat. Okay, fight fire with fire! Oh, they're called bath bombs. <laughs> oh, that's that's actually clever, Square. Kudos to your translation department. the dynamite literally let's cool things down a bit let's hope it's enough to keep the baths from boiling okay let's see let's just actually yeah actually let's just uh, let's just uh, keep on uh, heading heading down our way towards Towards Drake's Fang. And let's continue to advance the storyline. Oh. Oh, hey there, buds. I, 
I saw with my own two eyes what you did to those devils down there. And I still hardly believe it. Broken down, you say? From the weight of its load? Aye. The guards are furious about it. You'd do well to steer clear. Well, if it's blocking the road, it'd be a wasted journey anyway. Okay, I've got a funny feeling something is up ahead, but it's not this way. Let's just take a look and see what's down here. I'm not here looking for a fight. Looks very casual like. Get that damned wagon fixed! Unless you'd rather our men in Dalamil starved. The axle's gone, Captain. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> okay, looks like that's a good old fashioned invisible wall. Yeah, let's just uh, turn around and head the other way. Okay, but it's 10.30 here in Calgary, so this is a good time for a station break. So, you're watching me play Final Fantasy 16 as part of Raid the Arcade, New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. It all go towards your local children's hospital, and then you get to play games for 24 hours. Game day this year is November 2nd, but fundraising goes all year round. X-Life started over 15 years ago and since raised over $100 million for children's hospitals across Canada and U.S. and over $11 million was raised in 2022 alone, all raised by gamers just like you. I'm playing games to help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I've been part of X-Life for 12 years now. It's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And you can donate in links below or my pin posts on Twitter, Facebook, and Mastodon. In 2022, over $216,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through Extra Life. It's all done by gamers across Alberta and all over the world. You can also join in the fun and help out because kids can't wait. And now by giving back, you can game on. If you're one of the first 1,000 Extra Life Platinum participants to raise $2,000 US in 2024, you will unlock your very own custom Extra Life controller for the console of your choice, courtesy of our friends at Controller Chaos. These controllers will go fast to get your fundraising going now. So if you'd like to learn more about Extra Life, the custom controllers, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Or if you'd like to support my fundraising and help the kids at the Alberta Children's Hospital, I just dropped my link in Twitch chat. Every dollar helps, every share helps. Okay, so now let's get right back to the action with Final Fantasy 16. And here on Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. But first, this word from Extra Life Canada. Why I Extra Life? I Extra Life to make a difference. Through Extra Life, we're able to bring in thousands upon thousands of dollars for our hospital foundation. When we raise money for the kids, like our champion kid, Nico, we're able to make a difference in their lives by being able to have a facility where they're able to get the treatment they need in our own province. You sign up online, you pick the hospital you're gonna support, raise money for family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, etc., and then play games. You can go to extra-life.org for all the information you need to sign up and start doing Extra Life yourself. It's just fun to do it. It's, you can build such a community with friends, like some of my lifelong friends I've met through Extra Life United and stuff like that. Whether you're doing big production or a small little game night at your house, there's so many options and so many ways to do it, but it's accessible to everyone. It's a great community. Everyone's in it for the same reason. They're all playing in support of kids' health or playing games for kids that may not be able to. It doesn't matter if you fundraise ten dollars, a hundred, or a thousand. Every dollar really does help. You don't have to be the most hardcore of gamers to get involved. If playing games is something you enjoy doing, and it's something that you're already doing, Extra Life is the way to take it, embrace that fun, and do something more than what you could do yourself. 
Be proactive, jump at it through Facebook, through extra-life.org. Reach out to your local hospital, they'll know more. Hop onto the Extra Life Discord, find local gamers. If your hospital doesn't have a guild, get out there, form one, and just keep going. And we're back with Final Fantasy 16 right here on Raid the Arcade, New Game Plus. Okay, looks like this is the, the, the part where we where we need to make our way into Drake's Fang. Okay, yep, this looks fairly inviting. So let's just... That's better. So let's just head on and all nice and quiet-like, nice and casual. Let's just walk in like we own the joint. just admiring the natural splendor. Hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate, and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however... No. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight. To build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy. I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know. Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. 
I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then, go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> You can regale me too, Togo. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kuka. Okay, looks like I now have some new fast travel options. So now I can go to Drake's Fang. Like the other mother crystals of Alicia, the tower above the realm, Drake's Fang lies deep within a hollow crag. Scholars call a geode. Our big geode. Yeah, but right now I'm actually located in the jaw, the gaping chasm, worn through Age of Stone, serves as a Republic soul gateway to Drake's Fang. Oh, but now I can head back to the Dalamil Inn and. And I'll hand it that. Side quest. Well, this is no good. I was hoping to get out. Is it true what I'm hearing? My carpet. The most fragrant herbs. And Fresh spread, warm oh, from the. Oh, anyway, air. that should have allowed the water time to cool anyway. Pipes and pots. There he is. The man who saved my business. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. One long backstory later. You tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something due to worry about. But I burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right, it's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. Oh, Breath of the Inferno. Let's see. Residual fire ether to having failed this fate on the battlefield as I manifest a solid form not like crystal with elemental purity that renders it far more potent. Oh, and I also got some scarolite as well. When the hardest material is no demand, scarolite is highly sought after by those with the means to pay its exorbitant asking price. A price determined not by its rarity, but rather due to the fact that the forge must supply no fewer than five healthy bearers to produce flames hot enough to melt the ore, at which time it takes upon the deep scholar hue for which it takes its name. It's just as well I sent you to the terraces in my stead. It sounds like I'd have been burnt to a crisp. The, um, scrubbing is almost finished. We appreciate your patience. Okay, so let's see. Let's head back uh, to, the, to, to the hideaway a bit, and let's see if we can... Let's see if there's any new gear available. Yeah, let's take care of some some stuff back back at the range. Or the ranch, I meant to say. Oh well, yeah, it looks like uh, there is some. Uh, it looks like uh, there's some uh, new stuff going around. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Okay, 
Nectar, what do you got? Did you know that every forward step you take, Gupo, every crystal crack, every friend made, every enemy fell, the curse breakers are expanding their operations too? Which means more bearers being freed and more slavers being punished, but also means more billets for the board, Koopo! Did you see that the curse breakers give every billet a rank of riskiness, Koopo? From this thing could kill you with a single swipe to a seven nation army couldn't scratch a thing's skin! But I'm sure you'll be fine, Koopo. Uh, well, not sure, but there's one risk I'm willing to take. Let's see. Let's just uh, uh, let's just uh, take a look at, at the hunt board. Let's see if there's oh there's a oh, there's a new one. Oh, B rank, a hill to die on. Among Republican merchants, reports abound of caravans being crushed by a black boulder, a creature indeterminate in nature but is quite decided in strength, size, and spite. He or she took upon themselves to seek out and slay this black mass would earn the eternal gratitude not only of the desert traders but of the curse breakers who were spiked them with every trip for the Belcroy. I think one of these nights I'm gonna I'm gonna dedicate one of my streams to to crossing some names off off this board. Here for another of my lectures. What is it that you wish to learn? Of course. Okay, so right now, right now here at the Dalamil Inn, the Waluder Knights who aided in Hugo Kupka's evacuation from Rosalith yet didn't linger in the deserts of Dalmechia. So we press on to Drake's Fang. Okay, let's see. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal Om um, after his Kupka's head. Let's see. Okay, yep, that's the yep, that's actually their voice feature, something that they added in a later patch. My master could to ask Pope for a finer hound. She needs to rest. He's close to people's presence. Huh. Yeah, my uncle is always the adventurer. Let's see what he thinks about all these people. Ultima. I still don't know who or what he really is. I have you now, Hugo. Here's the latest information I have. Thus ends today's lesson. Okay, let's see. Anything else uh, that I uh, that I should pick up while I'm around here? Okay, yeah. Let's let's over to my chambers and pick up that new missive and paperwork. There's always paperwork when running a resistance operation. Sid's going to find Cooker and finish the job. Darn straight I will. Okay, it's 1047 here in Calgary. You're watching me play Final Fantasy 16 as part of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games with the old kids, go to www.extra-life.org. Sid the second, I trust you'll forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I'm confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust, especially in times like these. For what it is worth, you have now earned mine, and I can assure you it shall, it shall not be easily be relinquished. It needs to be the start of a fruitful relationship. Signed, Rosina. Okay, let's see. Any crafting that that I uh, that I can do here? Clive, what do you want? 
Okay, let's see. Any new items I can get here. Let's see. Can I reinforce anything here? I've already got a platinum sword. Plus two. I've already got a Gaia blade plus two. A bastard sword plus two. Long sword plus two. Broad sword plus two. Let's see. I think actually, I think actually my my gear my, might be might be good enough how it is. Yeah, but I don't have. Yeah, but I don't think I think I have enough raw materials in order to in order to craft anything right now. And? Back are you? Summer storm, that one. Rolls in when you least expect it, soaking you to your skin and leaving you rigging in your breeches. <laughs> Just like her old man. Keep us on our toes, though. Good to seeing ya. Careful crossing the Velcroy. It's dead easy to get lost in the desert. <laughs> I should know. Is it business or pleasure? <laughs> Is irrepressible the word? That girl doesn't let anything get her down, that's for certain. Quite the opposite. In fact, she's got a way of making every bugger else get up and dance to her tune. Like father, like daughter. Eh? I'd say it ran in the blood if I didn't know better. Can't wait to see what kind of queer contraption she comes up with next, so long as she doesn't try to rope me into building it for her. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Look, okay, yeah, let's sell off some of the stuff like that that I know can't be sold. Let's see, using crafting, 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 crafting. Ah, gill bug can be traded for gill. You got out else? Okay, black blood, this we treated for guilt too. I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? Okay, let's see. Anything else? Anything else here? Let's see. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Now let's get some accessories while we're at it. I'll find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Oh, okay, and that is it, and that. Is that all? Clean me out. <laughs> oh, well, it's it's all to help a local business person. Let's see, let's just check out the gear and see maybe if that'll do that. Let's see, let's optimize my gear. No new items equipped. Okay. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Off to Drake's Fang. And let's see how far I can get before I got to sign off at the top of the hour. I'll kill you, Rossville! I'll rip out your heart! 
I'll tear you limb from limb! Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power. But others have suffered a similar fate, and still manage to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. Run along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. Muthos is here. Very well, it shall be so. You may leave everything to me. Your Majesty. Quiet. Too quiet.
Did the royalists bring them from Ash? I just like to say we we orcs don't like how we be betrayed here, you dumb gits. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, it's coming up to 11 o'clock here in Calgary, so this is actually a great place to wrap things up for the evening. So, you've been watching me play Final Fantasy 16 as part of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. This was a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. They all go towards your local, excuse me, they all go towards your local children's hospital. And then you get to play games for 24 hours. Game day this year is November 2nd, but fundraising goes all year round. x Life started over 15 years ago and has since raised over $100 million for children's hospitals across Canada and the US, and over $11 million was raised in 2022 alone, all raised by gamers just like you. Night Playing Games help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I've been part of Extra for 12 years now, and it's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And you can donate the links below or my pinned posts on Twitter, Facebook, and Mastodon. In 2022, over $216,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through x -Wipe. and it was all done by gamers across Alberta and all over the world. You can also join in the fun and help out because kids can't wait. And now by giving back, you can game on. If you're one of the first 1,000 x Life Platinum participants to raise $2,000 US in 2024, you will unlock your very own custom x Life controller for the console of your choice, courtesy of our friends at Controller Chaos. These controllers will go fast, so get your fundraising going now. So, if you'd like to learn more about Extra Life, the custom controllers, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Or, once again, if you'd like to help me in my fundraising to help the kids at the Alberta Children's Hospital, I just dropped my link in Twitch chat. Every dollar helps, every share helps. Okay, well, thanks again for tuning in for tonight's installment of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. I'll be back uh, Friday night at 10 p.m. Mountain Time for another hour of, 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 of gaming and spreading the good word about this wonderful cause that I'm glad to have been part of with, with for so long. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, kids can't wait. Good night, everybody.